Hey peeps, I'm here to do a random kind of opener question uh, type deal here at Realms Con. I just finished BJD Basics in the morning and I'm going to be doing Confessions of a BJD Collector tonight at 10 p.m. Uh, I thought it'd be an interesting thing since I'm kind of killing time to see if anybody out here on the con floor knows what a BJD is. So we're going to go around and ask some random folks if they know what it means, what it stands for, and hopefully nobody thinks I'm weird. Let's go. If you are in this hobby and you might not find a lot of people that are in your area, BJD 
Pediatrics is a really cool place because it's a community of people everywhere that talk about these dolls. It's amazing. Thank you. It tastes so like soundproof. Like, I just feel like it's it's a huge wow. difference. Okay. All right. Well, um, some of the things I just wanted to cover first, and then I guess I'll just kind of jump into like free for all questions. Since this is Confessions of a BJD Collector, um, I had like four things set up that I was going to talk about, um, which is like stereotypes, I guess. First one. Aren't BJDs just like Barbies? No. Barbies, my friends, are mass-produced dolls. They are all made to look the same. They have the same eyes, same hair, same clothes, and you buy them at a set price, and that's it. These guys, hi! These guys um, are made to order. It will take you some time for your dog to come in when you order it. She took about three to four months for her to come to me uh, because essentially what happens with these dogs, and that's why a part of your price is more than a Barbie doll, also, that's a big difference. Um, is that they will have an artist that creates the face, creates the body, you know, creates the hands. They cast it in resin, and then they ship it to you. You have an option, though, because some companies will do a full set or a blank. Full set means that, okay, they're going to do the face for you. It's going to come with a wig. It's going to come with the clothes, the shoes, all that jazz, and you're done. It's done for you. Or you can buy them blank, which I like to do. They come with no face up, no hair, no clothes, nada. They are like, like Venus, like all totally naked to you. Which is all cool because I like buying my stuff to make characters for my dogs. The cool thing about this, and I do notice some CL like black butler cosplayers here, there's a company out there called Pull Ups that actually does anime characterized dolls. They actually have a set of black butler dolls. They are the cutest things in the whole entire world. They have a Grell, they have a CL, they have Sebastian. It is insanely cute. They also have pull-ups that look like Vocaloids. They have pull-ups that are dressed in Lolita. Pull-ups that are dressed as steampunk. Yes! Just as steampunk. Right. Um, a whole mess of different things out there. Yes, thank you. Um, so, it really depends on where you're going to go in this hobby, and a lot of people are like, <coughs> some of them want to do their own, some of them just want to buy it already done because they're scared of doing face-ups or face-ups and makeup. Uh, they're scared of doing that kind of stuff, so that's kind of my spiel of how they're way different from Barbies. Barbies is like over here, and BJDs are like way over there because they're nothing alike. Um, second awesome stereotype of tonight that I will go ahead and cover. Hi! Hi. What up? What's up? Come on in. Yeah. So. There's no judging in this room. There's no hating. I got dolls. Enough <laughs> said. Enough <laughs> said. Oh, oh. Hey guys, what's up? I like your Cheshire cat. Okay. So, uh, second stereotype that I'm going to go ahead and discuss this is this confessions of a BJD collector. Um, is you're collecting dolls still and you're how old? Okay, friends. If you were here earlier in my earlier panel, uh, yeah, and which, by the way, I'm 26 years old. <clears throat> 26 years old, and I'm collecting dolls. And you know what? Who cares? I actually do have Barbies, too. I have all the Barbie movies, too. What up? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Because I can do what ifs. Because, you know, I'm an adult. Okay. Um, for real, I collect dolls. Um, for real, though, uh, my spiel on this and what I like to respond to people that give me that response, and if any of you guys do this, I'm saying there's no judgment in this room. We're all equals, it's all good. But people my age do different things at their times and their points of life. I choose to invest my money in dolls. I could be out drinking it up, boozing it up. I could be out there, you know, getting high with a friend and all that other stuff if I wanted. But you know what? I choose to do dolls. I choose to do cosplay. I choose to do Lolita, which is or something that I love. Drugs. And it's so much of this work. It is my anti-drug. Yeah. If you guys have seen those badges, like cosplay, my anti-drug, because cosplay costs more than drugs. Yeah, seriously, that's pretty much what it is for dolls also. Like seriously, I, you know, 
There's no money for drugs when you get into these hobbies. There's no money for drugs or alcohol when you're buying like $200 cosplay outfits. Are you kidding me? Like, no. And they're just like, alcohol or drugs? Or cosplay? Yes! And so like you end up buying cosplay stuff. Um, that's my spiel on it. So really, honestly, I don't think age matters. The cool thing about this hobby and our group in general is that you've got people that are as young as 10 collecting in this hobby, and you've got people that are as old as 60 or even 80 that are in this hobby. Um, it's just a hobby, that's what it is, you know, and as far as I'm concerned, hobby. yeah, it's a hobby, but you know what, as far as I'm concerned, as long as nobody's getting hurt, nobody's offended by it, and you're not up in everyone's face about it, then who cares? I could be 50 and I could be collecting dolls, as long as I'm not all like creeper all up on you with my dolls and be like, hey, look at my dolls, like, hey, you want to, I got it's my personality, like, come play with it. Like, yeah, that's, you know, crossing boundaries and crossing lines. But, you know, I think that if you're happy and you're not destroying anybody else, why not? That's my spiel on that stereotype, so. Yes, yeah, all your hand raised, what's up? At least you don't have those dolls that have the eyes that follow you no matter where you go in the room. I have a friend, they, are, they literally have a hundred dolls in their house like that. With knives? Like a clown? <laughs> <laughs> yes, one of them. Oh. <laughs> but I... And I can't say anything bad because that's a hobby in itself. But personally, I like these dolls more than American Girl dolls and porcelain dolls. And frankly, dolls that are like clowns scare the Jesus out of me. Um, my mom used to collect clowns. And she used to tell me when I first started collecting this hobby, she's like, man, those are so creepy. And I was like, are you kidding me? Freaking clowns in your like vanity that are like looking at me all sad and like they have all this face. I'm like, that's creepy to me. This is cool because like I can do whatever I want. I got the jerk of the band right here that's like all like, look at me, I got my swoosh here, my fun, fancy, awesome coolness. And I got this girl here, she's like, yeah, I'm so cute. And then I have this in her picture, she's like, I got my Congress on, what up? And then this guy just got bad at I don't know why he looks like that. He just, I don't know, he's upset all the time. But, um, oh yeah, and I forgot her. My little girl, she's really cute, really sweet. But, um, I mean, that's my spiel on that. Like, seriously, for real, I don't see like a big deal about that, you know, as far as, you know, ooh, you know, 20 something and you're collecting dolls. Like, seriously, there's worse things I could be doing. Why are you worrying about me collecting dolls? What's up? Were you scarred for life with your mom's clown dolls? I was. And you know, the creepy thing about it that my mom does, she has this really creepy one that has like an ugly face. And when I lived at the house, my mom used to put it under my bed, and when I'd get home and I'd go to sleep, I'd go under my covers and I'd feel something here, and I was like, what is that? And I, oh, I just moved my covers, and I was just like, what is that? And my mom's like, ha, 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 like laughing down the hallway. I'm like, thanks, mom, for scaring me. Like, you know, emotionally scarring me for the rest of my life. I'm scared of clowns, and now I don't like them even more. Yes? Are you, this is gonna be weird, are you local here? Because I probably literally just like a week ago came across your channel and was gonna have been reporting some responses. <gasps> so when I saw it on the schedule, I was like, I know her. <laughs> I was like, I, know? I'm actually from San Antonio. Okay. I just said, like, what up, SA? Yeah. Uh, what? We got a word. So what? Yay! 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 Um, and now we're watching Hamster. What's up, Hamster? <laughs> <laughs> is that the Hamster video where like, they're two and they're like, yes. they crash into each other and they're like, kissing everything? It's like, woo! Is that the same stuff they're behind? Oh, I don't know. Okay, sorry. I'm about to have more Chinese things to be distracted with. Um, yes, I'm from San Antonio. I was trying to clarify that last I was like, I gotta think about it. Yeah, I'm from San Antonio. Um, and I just and I like to spread the dog love. That's what I like to do. Um, but yes, I do have a BJD channel of my own. Uh, you can look me up on YouTube and send me BJD. I do a bunch of crazy videos with my dolls. Um, what up, Bruno? Uh, I do have my BJD FX group, which is why I'm here and why I'm going to show you if my computer works, which I hope it does. Uh, and essentially, I'm going to go ahead and show you just a couple of clips of some people's videos. I grab some people, I grab some guys' videos because we have some guys in the hobby. They do amazing things with their dolls. It just amazes me. And I have to give my props up to my guys in the what hobby. What kind of things? Oh, not those kinds of things. Although there's some people that do, just like any hobby. I mean, you'll find cosplayers that are just like, 
I don't know what you do when I'm gonna look the other way. Uh, same thing, you know, you're gonna find that in every hobby, really honestly. It's gonna be found in every hobby. So you just gotta be like, what? Okay. 